have a photo you love, but you want to add a more artistic look to it? Want to turn a color photo into a beautiful black and white photo? Want to do all your photo editing quickly, easily, and simply? If the answer to one or all of those questions is yes, then you're going to want to watch this video all the way through to see all the amazing things you can do with your photos in Canva. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Willow and I've been using Canva since 2013 and I use it daily for my business now. And my channel is dedicated to sharing all the phenomenal things you can do with Canva. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new tutorial comes out. This week's tutorial is all about how to edit your photos in Canva. And I have to tell you, you can do some amazing things with your photos in Canva. Take your color photos to black and white, add a super artistic touch to a photo you love. You can do all of these things with your photos in Canva. If you're completely brand new to Canva, you'll want to watch this video to get started with the basic foundations of using Canva. You really want to do this before you get into something a little more advanced like editing your photos. I'll include a link in the description to make it super easy for you to find. So let's jump into the tutorial. I'm using a desktop wallpaper artboard, but you can make any size that you want. If you want to edit one of your own photos, you'll need to upload it to Canva. And you'll do that by coming to the Uploads tab in the far left sidebar. And then you'll click on the purple Upload Files button. Select the file from your device and it will upload to Canva. So these photo edits will also work on photos in the Canva photo library. And I've added a couple of photos and I'm going to make them bigger so you can see them better. And the first thing I want to show you are the adjustment settings. So you'll click on your picture and then you'll come here to the edit image button and this menu will open. And you'll see here you have the adjust. So click see all. And then you have all of these choices. So your brightness will make the photo brighter. Contrast. It increases the difference between the lighter and darker areas of the photo. And saturation changes the color intensity of the photo. So if you watch here on this one, see the cat's eyes they get more intense. And then the tint, it applies more of a specific color to the whole photo. As you move it up and down the bar, the different colors. And blur, that's pretty self-explanatory. It blurs it and clears it up. So this one we actually want to set it right about there. Then you have X process. The X process helps strengthen the separation of colors and it increases the photo's hues. So let's set that about there. The vignette, this adds an outer shadow to the picture and gives it more of an aged look. Let's leave that right about there. Warmth, this will add warm colors to the photo going this way. And if you go the other way, it adds more cooler colors to the photo. Let's leave this right about there. Clarity makes it more clear, pretty self-explanatory. And vibrance, vibrance increases the intensity. And highlights, this increases the lighter colors on the photo or it darkens them. And shadows, adds a kind of shadow effect overall the whole picture. And fade, kind of fades the whole picture. So once you have your photo the way that you want it, say we wanted to apply the same effects to this photo, you would have two options. You could copy and paste this filter code into the filter code on this picture, or quicker and much easier, go to the paint roller to copy the style of this photo, and then click on this photo and it automatically applies the same settings to this photo, much quicker. And then if you want to change something on the settings on this photo, 
it's super easy. You just adjust those settings, add a little warmth here. It does not change this photo. You have applied the same settings, but when you adjust this photo, it does not adjust the first one. And so if you wanted to apply this one, of course, you could repeat the same process, copy the style and apply it to this photo, or you can leave them a little different. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. In addition to the adjustment settings, Canva has several apps that you can use to edit your photos as well. And let me show you what some of these apps can do. And these are all different apps that you can use in Canva to apply to your pictures. So for example, if we added this one, it does take a minute for it to apply sometimes. And that's what that will look like. Now, if you notice, you have three little bars here. Click on those three little bars, and then you can change the intensity of the filter. You can change it to a lower setting and then adjust your intensity, or you can change it to high and adjust your intensity. If you like this filter, you can click apply. And if you don't like it, all you have to do is click cancel. Okay, and now it is finished. And the letter mosaic, you click on that, get an idea of what that looks like. You know, you can go into the settings and adjust the settings on it. If you like it, click apply. If you don't, click cancel. And then we have the photogenic app. And if you notice, you have the little arrow here. You can scroll through and see the different settings that they have that you can automatically apply. And you can just scroll back through. So let's click on this one and see what it looks like. And again, you see the three little bars. So you can click on those and you can adjust the intensity of the app and you can click apply or you can click cancel. And then you have the screen, see what it does. Again, you can click on these, you can adjust their settings. If you like them, click apply. If you don't, click cancel. So if you pixelate a photo, that's what it's gonna look like. And again, adjust the settings, the color mist, Lots of different colors to choose from. See, it just changes the color of the whole photo. And of course, you can always use frames or smart mockups for your picture. Now, one of my favorites is the filters. Now, this is how I take my color photos from color to black and white. I use the filters, and typically I will use the street filter. If you apply grayscale, it does look okay, but it is all gray. So I like to use the street filter. I think it just gives a little more depth to the photos. And of course you can go in and set your intensity. And the more intense it is, the more black and white it is. So we'll click back on this picture. We'll go to the edit image button. And if you'll notice here, you have a restore original button. So if you've applied filters, and then you decide you don't like them, come here and click this Restore Original, and it takes the photo right back to its original settings. So now you're ready to do some amazing editing to your photos in Canva. I hope you found this tutorial really helpful and full of information. You'll find a link in the description to get your free 30-day trial of Canva Pro so you can have access to all the amazing things for editing photos. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new tutorial comes out. Let me know in the comments what you think your favorite tool is gonna be to edit your photos. I'm really interested in hearing. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I'll answer just as quickly as I can. I'll be back next week with another Canva tutorial. And until then, have fun editing your photos in Canva and have a great week. See you then. Mm -hmm.